It's the story of a brand which across 130 years and under five different bosses has preserved its independence and unique spirit. It's the story of a brand which, thanks to its instruments for professionals, accompanied the boom in sports, science, and industry, the entire adventure of modern times. It's the story of a brand that has shared the finest hours of aviation while asserting itself as the benchmark for pilots worldwide. It's the story of Brightly, a world apart. It all began in 1884. The youthful Leon Breitling was driven by a single-minded obsession for performance and precision. He chose to devote himself to a highly demanding field, that of chronographs and timers. Sports enthusiasts were won over, as were early automobile drivers. But Leon Breitling set his sights even higher. His stronghold was to be aviation, which was starting to take off around that time. When the wristwatch emerged, Breitling was one of the pioneers. To improve performance, the brand innovated by separating the chronograph controls from those of the watch. This marked the birth of the first independent push piece, followed by the second push piece. It was at last possible to add up several successive times. Breitling invented the face of the modern chronograph that was soon picked up by competitors and has remained in place ever since. Meanwhile, the brand found its place in aircraft cockpits with its famous onboard chronographs that were to equip Royal Air Force fighter planes during World War II. In the 1950s, cockpits did not look like this, but rather like this. No electronics. Everything had to be done by hand using paper and slide rules. Cumbersome and not very practical. Breitling came up with an ingenious idea to create a built-in slide rule able to handle all operations relating to airborne navigation, an authentic wrist-worn instrument panel. The result was the famous Navitimer that would be worn by pilots everywhere. It became the first space-going wrist chronograph worn by Scott Carpenter. Breitling's onboard chronographs equipped the major airline companies, and the brand thus became official supplier to world aviation. There was one more challenge left for Breitling, to create the self-winding chronograph. Mission accomplished, as Breitling asserted itself more strongly than ever as the chronograph specialist. In 1984, ultra-thin quartz watches were all the rage. Breitling bucked the trend by partnering with the Frecce Tricolore Aerobatics team in creating the Chronomat Aviation Chronograph, which contributed to the revival of mechanical watches. Then came the Aerospace Multifunction Chronograph. And the Emergency, the first wristwatch with a built-in distress transmitter. Breitling was by then, more than ever, the privileged partner of aviation. But the sky still held a further challenge, the first non-stop, round-the-world balloon flight, duly accomplished by Breitling Orbiter 3. At the start of the third millennium, Breitling pursued its quest for performance and independence. It became the world's only major brand to have all its movements chronometer certified, the highest benchmark in terms of precision and reliability. Breitling also began developing its own range of high performance caliber and its own in-house super quartz electronic chronograph movement, 10 times more accurate than standard quartz. It's the story of one of the last remaining family-owned Swiss watch brand. It's the story of a resolutely forward-looking brand. It's the story of Breitling, a world apart.